Come on. It is time to go, declared Ileana as she shoved her colleague towards the door. This is definitely over. The bartender looked disappointed, but shouted after them. Amateur night is every Thursday. Don't forget that. You both are welcome, especially you. Ileana blotted out the man's words and his very existence. She would not be coming back to this place, and neither would Aaron. That was one fact she was definitely sure of, even if she had to restrain Aaron in the process. Once outside, Ileana asked, How do you find these places? I was driving around, bored out of my mind. Then I saw the sign from the highway. It read free admission and tips to all beautiful, talented amateur dancers. Don't tell me more. I think I made about 400 in tips until you showed up. Ileana stopped walking. The Mexican doctor was vaguely aware of the security guard following them to their parked car as she stared at her friend in disbelief, shook her head, and asked, Where are your keys? Right here, said Aaron, as she began walking away from the bar and towards her parked sports car. She held the keys high above her head and continued to move. How much have you been drinking? Not one drop. Aaron gave me the keys. You sound drunk and reckless. You're wrong, she said, swinging the metal objects above her head. I sound sad, hurt, and maybe reckless, but I'm not drunk. I promised myself that I wouldn't touch another bottle of vodka especially after the accident. Yet I find you in a bar, half naked, surrounded by men and collecting one dollar bills. No, that does not sound drunk to me, she said sarcastically. They weren't all single dollar bills. Oh, Aaron, your talent just keeps amazing me. What are you going to do next? Teach belly dancing classes outside of your office? I'm trying to get over him. I thought you would be proud of that. Tu eres ni loca o estupida. Yo no sé cuál es peor. I should be proud that you but dialed me in the middle of my dinner, that I spent 20 minutes trying to reach you by phone, and then another 40 hailing a cab out here to find you. Ileana stared at her friend in disbelief. I was having dinner with mi esposo, my husband. We were about to have sex, you hear me? Good, passionate, blood-pumping sex on wheels. But instead of that, I am here with you. Hmm, murmured Aaron. Sex in a wheelchair? I haven't tried that with Marari, but it sounds yummy. Was that supposed to be your dessert? Now is not the time to antagonize me, threatened Ileana. And yes, it would have been if I didn't have to track you down. I was afraid to ignore your call. I thought you'd gotten into more trouble. I heard so much screaming and yelling in the background. I didn't know what to think. At least you didn't get the call while you were doing it, smiled Aaron. That ha would have been really bad, don't you think? Yes, it would have been very bad for you, she said, clicking her teeth. I'm sorry, Ileana. Don't be mad. She tried to sound convincing, but the effect was lost when she began to laugh. No, you are not. You probably did this on purpose, jealous mujercita. And how can I be proud of finding the cardiothoracic surgeon of Penn's Landing Memorial Hospital taking off her clothes in front of lecherous, dirty men? You are a sophisticated woman with walls covered in medical certificates and degrees. Eliana paused to catch her breath before continuing. Yes, this is just about to make my night.
is exactly how I plan to end a day full of surgeries and post-operative care.